Welcome back to the round table. I'm Ashik Vox. I'm Richard Nemo. My name is Tom. So today there won't be a traditional upload of uh, Crystal Clear or Let's Talk to Tom cartoon news or anything of that sort just because we're going to spend most of the day setting up for our 500k party we're having later with uh, some friends, some family coming by. Um, and thank you guys for 500,000 subscribers. Like, we can't even put into words how happy we were for that moment. Um, and we do have content planned for 500,000 subscribers, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, that's basically this entire video, but just keep you guys updated on the currency of the roundtable, what to expect, what's happening. So far, further ado, let's go right in. So yeah, starting with that 100,000 subscriber mark, that's where we're gonna start. We do have some content planned. Uh, one of the things we wanna do is an office tour because we have been in this office for two months now. As you guys see, we have these four lamps on the set that I think are really cool. Um, and the office is, I think it's a lot bigger than what we probably have led on to believe just because whenever we do show in videos, either it is this room or uh, we're in front of a green screen. We don't really do behind behind the scenes that much, but uh, it's about like, I would say maybe 10 rooms. Yeah, it's, um, a, it's a great studio. Yeah, and like only like one of the rooms you don't really use right now. So I'm really excited to show you guys that, show you guys what we built, because really it we wouldn't be here without you guys. We also want to do a Draw My Life of the channel, so like how the channel got from, you know, conception to where it is now. I think that'd be a really cool thing, just show you guys the journey and, you know, maybe you guys will learn something you didn't know before. On top of all of that, we've been trying to show you our lives a little bit more by filming some sort of quasi roundtable vlogs to show what's been happening throughout the course of like a week, for instance. For now, it's just going to be a one-off video to show you how exciting our boring lives are, but maybe it could be a series if it has good reactions from the fans. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll likely include a vlog of the 500k party we're doing tonight, uh, either in that video Shane just mentioned or on its own thing. I'm really excited. We really want to focus more on personality-driven content, but again, like I said, we'll elaborate it piece by piece. But moving on from the 500k stuff, and let us know uh, any possible videos you would want to see related to that, I want to focus on updates just around our current content, what we're trying to do, what we want to do, and how we can make what we're doing now even better. So I guess first off, I'll start with Crystal Clear, the show that I think a lot of people are familiar with when it comes to the roundtable name. And that goes hand in hand with changes you'll see throughout other videos I host that aren't live action, and that is that I'm finally getting a brand new avatar. Now, I've had this current avatar for about two years now. Uh, before that avatar, I had just one lonely single avatar that I drew in MS Paint that did not look good. And a new avatar is something I've been wanting for a while just because while I do greatly appreciate and am attached to the current after I have now, I feel like it doesn't really fit the style of the other shows we talk about. It doesn't really give out the vibe I want to. And it was always kind of limited expressions. It always felt kind of awkward to have an avatar that wore a sweater vest in like summer <laughs> and fall. So the new avatar's outfit will be the one you see in the channel banner right now with a red flannel, blue shirt. And along with that change, I kind of want to spruce up the editing style of Chris Clear a bit more. Because when you do something every day for a while, it becomes kind of routine and it kind of stagnates and we never want to stagnate here. So I'm hoping with this new avatar, I can incorporate it more into Crystal Clears, make the overall editing style a bit more appealing and really give it some more flair for the upcoming year. So while Crystal Clear as a whole project isn't changing, the presentation will be altered a bit, but I think it'll look cooler. I do have some general idea of what I want it to look like, but I'll figure most of that when I'm actually editing the first one with the new avatars. And I hope you guys are excited to see that. On top of that, I do want to expand more topics on Crystal Clear. Since we do group discussion reviews now, I do want to revisit some old topics and some updated opinions on things, such as Rose being Pink Diamond, or the current state of characters such as Bismuth, Lapis, Peridot, you know, individual analysis, and not just speculating what's going to happen next in the show. Because we do see your comments and we do see the people miss when I did some, you know, solo analysis, which I greatly appreciate and I really hope you guys are thrilled to see what happens next. On top of that, it's also our news videos. As you guys know, throughout the week we have cartoon news, just keep you guys updated and what's happening in the animation industry. Maybe some hot takes, some opinions, rumors, speculations. And the goal for that has always been to be Monday through Friday. Now obviously there are days where we miss the mark just because either we get caught up in editing other videos or there'll be some slow news. But we're gonna work it up to a point where it is five days a week and we're gonna try to spruce up a bit so, cause we're still trying to get used to doing it every single day, being on camera every single day. Definitely add some more bits, be a lot more personality driven because the news videos are supposed to be informative yet funny. We want you guys to laugh and feel good while watching our content. That applies for, you know, all areas of content. And we also want to get to a point where every other video is every other host. Because we know there are times where there can be just a string of videos where there can be three videos in one day and two of them are me and then one's Tom or one's Shane. We want to get to a point where you can click on a video and you can't expect who's hosting it, but you're fine with that because you hopefully like all of our personalities. And I also want to get back to doing more, you know, OKKO OK content, OKK OK reviews, uh, maybe some Voltron. Voltron, you know, the new season just dropped today. I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet, so please no spoilies in the comments. Actually, I don't really care about spoilers because people spoil me anyways. And just get back to having a good range of cartoon content from different shows, not just focus on one or two shows at once. 
In terms of content that I do, guys, I want to be more consistent with the other shows that I make that are kind of neglected in terms of how often they are uploaded or made. For instance, Greenlit and Retro Nemo's Conspiracy Corner are two series that I'm incredibly proud of and that I want to make more of. And in the future, with this 500,000K mark under our belt, I want to focus on doing more videos like that. So you'll be seeing more Greenlit, you'll be seeing more Conspiracy Corner, some, some new shows I'm working on, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm kind of nervous. As far as I go, I'm pretty happy with where I've gotten Let's Talk with Tom to at this current point. There's still some things I want to iron out. Maybe a little aesthetic changes here and there just to amplify things a bit more, but I'm pretty happy with where it is currently. As far as my other show, Runaway Club, it's something that I've kind of neglected recently just because it requires me to set aside everything else and just focus on that for like a good week or so. But I am currently working on a new one and there's another one that I have planned to do in the future. That's something I want to do more of because I feel like it gives me more freedom to do more dynamic things and talk about topics with a bit more in-depth analysis. And it's also just a show that allows for more dynamic conversations to be had. In terms of our group content, like how we've been doing the Grunkle Stand Dating Simulator, videos like those, or the Make the Family Guy characters, or the Friends Get Steven Universe characters, those are all classified internally as roundabouts, where basically they're fun little live action pieces you guys can consume, where we do some, you know, animation related challenges, or play an animation related game, etc. And we have a lot planned for that. I don't want to, you know, spill everything out now, but the idea for that is for those kind of videos to be weekend content. So during the day you get your cartoon news, your theories, your analysis, your discussions. Then on the weekends you get more of our fun, more of our just pure comedy videos. And I think we're all really excited to do more of those just because they're a lot of fun to make. Now admittedly, it's no secret we have neglected that channel just because we're trying to focus on this channel, get this on the right track, but we still are putting out videos every now and then, some video essays. You know, I put a one a few weeks ago about Pokemon, some Smash Brothers content, we have more of that on the way because I do have just a lot of things to say I want to see in Smash Bros, especially related to his story mode. And the goal right now is that throughout this month, we'll, every now, we'll, no, we'll do a little bit of Let's Play recording here and there, and then by fall, we can have some consistent content on that channel, even if it's just Let's Plays, in addition to our discussions, reactions, theories. Because, you know, I do want to expand our content beyond just cartoons, but, you know, we want a time and a place for that, and that time and place is Roundtable Gaming. And since we are, you know, a very small team, it's hard to flesh it all out, but we're going to get there. And hopefully, I won't, you know, push it back any further. Hopefully, fall will be the consistent, like, from this point forward, there will be consistent content, even if we're not 100% sure what it will be yet. But we do have a general idea and direction of where we'll take the channel. It's just a matter of execution and finding the time for it because, you know, we're here from 9 to 5 every day during the summer and then during the fall, you know, it's 9, 9 to 5 for me, Tom and Josh, and you know, Shane has school and everything. But we made it this far and we're going to continue to get bigger and better. In terms of our Patreon, I also want to be more updated on Patreon. At one point, I was doing daily updates and I want to go back to that, some behind the scenes stuff, get you guys some behind the scenes photos of what we're doing. Perhaps if we do do vlogs consistently, they'll go up first on Patreon and then later on in the week for everybody else. So everyone who still pledged on Patreon, thank you for your support. It means the world to us. Like, it seriously helps us out a lot more than you realize. And we have not forgotten about you. And for merch, we're still figuring out new merch. We want to get a good variety going. And, you know, merch is tricky because, you know, copyright and all that. And what is considered parody and what's considered fair use. But again, since we want to make you guys laugh and feel good, we do want to make some more comedy-driven shirts that, you know, you guys still relate to. In addition to just, like, some roundtable shirts. Like the roundtable shirt I'm wearing right now. You guys can get this off Teespring. I didn't mean for that to be a merch plug, so I totally just, like, Logan paul you guys. But it was com completely <laughs> unintentional. And if you guys have any ideas for what kind of merch you want to see, please let us know in the comments. We definitely want to do some kind of back-to-school deal with you guys where, you know, we put maybe some backpacks or something. You know, maybe not on Teespring, but a different kind of service. There are different websites we can work with through Frederator, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, just stay tuned for that. And finally, let's talk about some new content, so our new show ideas. We, we do have a lot of ideas. Again, we want to expand. We don't want to stagnate. We don't want to just stay in one place. I think just about every idea we've been throwing around has been live action, even if animation is related in some way, shape, or form, or sprinkled in. For example, we want to do some kind of either a morning show or a late night talk show where we fake interview animated characters, more details on that, we're still playing it out. It may not, the final product may not be like that at all, but you know, maybe we, we can interview people in the cartoon community over Skype and edit that in. The possibilities are truly endless. I'm working on a new series now that covers interesting stories from animation history, and believe it or not, there's a lot of them. So I hope to get that out soon, at least the first trial episode for the pilot and see what you guys think of that. Another idea we've been toying with for a while is the idea of sketches. Mm -hmm. 
we have a lot of sketch ideas and we're finally in the space where I think we can do them. Like, and these vary from Marvel parodies or just random ideas we had that we think, yeah, that would probably be good. Who knows, maybe we combine all of our ideas to a weekly variety show. We're still figuring out the format and you know, on top of doing everything else we're already doing. So we're gonna be busy, but we wanna do it for you guys. Like I said, we just, we just wanna make people laugh and feel good. Like I think that's our ultimate goal. At the very least, that's my goal in creating content. I want you guys to walk away, you know, feeling moved and you know, you learn something. Exactly. <laughs> or you just laugh and have a good time. Something else we wanna do is bring back the Roundtable podcast. Yes. Please. Mainly just him. I want to talk for hours. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't want to bring it back just to bring it back. I want to bring it back right, and that means a good looking set, make sure we have the right equipment, you know, figure out a way to make the production of it go by quicker because it does take some time, and we know not everyone tunes into it, but maybe that will change once we bring it back. So we want to make sure we put it out in a way where it's effective but doesn't take too much time for our other projects. And that's basically where we are with everything right now. We just wanna make sure we're, we're on top and everything gets a fair share and that you guys are enjoying it. We don't wanna just rush out content to rush out content. And I'm guilty of doing that in the past, but that's something I wanna turn around in the future. And I think we're finally getting to the place where we can do that, where we don't have to worry about deadlines all the time, where we can take our time with content, but still get it out at a reasonable pace. And animation and everything is just the beginning. The round table is gonna be bigger and better. I, I can't wait to see where we are for a year from now or two years from now. We're not going anywhere, even after Steve Universe ends, or Star ends, or any show ends. We'll, we'll always find something to do. And we know that you guys are loyal, and we are beyond grateful for that. We're really happy to even say that, because starting a YouTube channel is hard. Getting 500,000 subscribers in two years is hard. I always imagined we would be in an office, but every day coming into one, being in front of a camera right now is surreal. Which is something else we want to upgrade, a camera. You know, be a lot more professional production value. Guys. We love you, and I think that's all I really have to say. We literally couldn't be here without you guys. Like, if you're watching this right now, you made this happen. Yeah. Thank you so much. We're so incredibly grateful, and we're so excited to see where we go, because I think it's only gonna get bigger and better from here. Yeah. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting us on Patreon. Thank you guys for just subscribing, liking this video, commenting. We love you. And I can say that over and over again. Yeah. For sure. Hey. All right. Third wheeling, as usual. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Okay, so a few days ago, I made a post on the uh, community tab, basically inquiring hypothetically if there's uh, any roundtable viewers, if any, if any of our viewers know anybody in the Metro Detroit area who would be uh, interested in a roundtable position. And it is hypothetical, as in like we're not looking right now, but in the future, we would like to get uh, another video editor, for example. Um, so in that case, you would probably be, you would have to be familiar with Premiere or. Uh, another host, uh, maybe not full time, at least not right now, that'd just be like literally like uh, a year from now, if let's say uh, Shane slash Nemo goes to college, um, you know, if he would stay on campus and we'd probably need, you know, another host to come in to fill in while he's, for the days he's at campus or the day he has classes. Um, so, or I'm also thinking about doing a, uh, one of our ideas is a weekly talk show of sorts of uh, animation. So maybe we would like to bring on a host for that or something. Uh, It'd be like a roundtable discussion, not like roundtable the channel, like roundtable as in like roundtable discussions with a lot of people. That, that, yeah, you guys get it. Um, so, if you guys know anyone, again, Metro Detroit, Michigan area, uh, that's where we're located, so thank you. <laughs>